Do you have a hard time finding 3D models? Get frustrated trying to find the model that you want to print? Join me today as I show you the five favorite sites that I like to visit to try to find my models. See you inside. Hi and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be talking about finding your 3D model that you want to print. So there are tons of resources out there, tons of ways to find a model, but today I'm going to show you the top five that I use to find that model and get the print that I'm hopefully looking for, or to find a base that I can build a upon to get the build that I want to build. So as you can see behind me, there's lots of models that I've printed from multiple sites online that I've found or models that I've edited and made them my own in a lot of ways. Um, so basically I want to help you find the model that you're looking for because it can be hard sometimes to find a model depending on what you're looking for. Um, whether it's kitchen, garage, Star Trek or Star Wars, it could be a lot of things that you're looking for, but you just can't find it. So today's my top five searches that are you what basically websites or apps that i use to find the models that i'm after i hope you guys enjoy on the number five so my number five where it can be really easy to kind of start but this site kind of bothers me a little bit because sometimes they're free sometimes they're not a lot of times they're paid for but this is a search engine it's called stl finder it's a really awesome site to find especially harder to find or more professional grade stl files whether you're looking for you know for example up here a lego chef hat or an auto rewind or just geek decorations um this is an awesome site to kind of get started on try trying to find models so let's go with my usual one of my usual how to find things let's look up star trek And it will find all kinds of models out there available to you, whether they're free or you have to pay for them. Um, a lot of these look like they're coming over from Thingiverse, so a lot of these will be free. But there's a lot of cool models that you can find. And if it's you're having a really hard to find model, this is one file site that I would go to. Um, let's have some fun. Let's go over to Star Wars because there's all kinds of stuff that you can search over here and just try to find something unique that you're wanting to print. Now, like I'm looking at toys. Yeah, I'm a kid in heart. I do enjoy kind of printing some of this stuff, but there's all kinds of things. Star Wars logos, jet fighters, uh, Victory Class Star Destroyers, a Haro Destroyer is that one. Um, all kinds of just really cool things. Lego parts. I mean, this 3D printing options are endless. Oh, that's a really cool Death Star uh, of the Death Star 2. I mean, there's really cool models out here and available to try to print and find what you're looking for. This search engine was one that was actually recommended to me. It's my number five choice of the five that you're gonna to see today. Um, but it is a great place to start. But like I said, sometimes these STLs are not free. Um, I mean, we all wanna to try to find the file for free, right? I mean, you hear me here? Um, but it's kind of one of those things. This is a great place to find, especially for a hard to find file. Um, let's go with Halloween, because Halloween is coming up um, in a couple months see what we can find now the one thing i will say i've got really good internet and the search engines are kind of slow but look at all the great options that you have to choose from just for printing your own jack-o-lanterns this year instead of buying a pumpkin and watching it rot on your step your kid's uh, candy basket print it instead of going out and paying to one or two bucks for one make one that's going to be customized for them um, cause you could always take these files and take them over to Tinkercad or something like that and alter the file to make it work to what you're wanting to do as well. It's an option that you can do. So STL finder, an awesome way to find different things that you're looking for. Even household, uh, organizer. Here we go. Can always use more organization for tools, right? It's always kind of something that we need. So let's get that loaded up and take a look at it and see what it says. Cause Finding the right STL for you that fits not only you, but what your printer can do. You know, some files may be better done with resin than FDM. Um, of course, I do most of my printing at FDM. I don't haven't done resin printing yet. And it doesn't look like it's going to fun. Oh, there we go. It was just taking a sweet time. So there's really cool organizers that you can mount on your printer, wall hangers, all kinds of things that you can find on this site to just try to find a model you're looking for. I mean, come on, there's looks like a gun organizer. Uh, <laughs> So, I mean, it's just kind of whatever you're looking for, get out here and search. That's what the whole point of today's video is, finding five ways to find what you're looking for. Um, and these are just five sites that I use. 
So if you guys are liking the content you're seeing today, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let us know you're enjoying the content. Leave a comment down below if there's something that you're looking for. Let's move on to number four. All right, so my number four choice that I go to find files is Cult 3D. Um, this site has a lot of good models. They're not always free. That's kind of one of the banes of this site, but there are a lot of good models that you can get on here and find 3D printer um, files for. You can find gadgets, architecture. They have a great breakup. They have a cult selection. So these are kind of their top models that you can look into. Uh, really liking the Transformer. Oh, Baymax. Uh, sorry, Kitten Heart. Uh, really like that movie. So there's all kinds of stuff that you can actually find. Um, there's Warhammer 40K. All kinds of stuff, but you've got to make sure when you're looking at these that some of these models you actually have to pay for. Note this one says it's free. Most of these say they're free, which is awesome. But like this one, you have to pay $11.83 to get the model. This one's $5.66. So just kind of be careful with this site. Some of the models you have to pay for, so don't get too excited until you look at the model. Uh, that's really cool. Apple Watch charging stand. Um, and you know, they have their ads and different things too. They have Thingiverse synchronization. So some of these models do come over and sync on Thingiverse, but you can look at all kinds of collections and different things like here. So if I'm really struggling to find a model and I'm not finding it on my top two sites, this is one of the other apps I'll come to to try to find that model. Uh, even if I have to pay for it every once in a while, I might consider it, but it just really depends on what I'm after. So on to the next one. All right, number three is Thinger. Now, this is an app for your phone or your tablet or something like that. It works a lot where you can swipe left or right to find a model and it gives you a random selection of models that you can go through and sift through and find. When I first found this app, I could get off it for quite a while. I think I have like 300 app models saved in the app on my phone. This is a really good one to go look at. It, uh, it can be a really fascinating one and if you're just bored wanting to look for a model this is a great thing to go because it's going to change it up of what you're looking for so this is a lot of times when i'm sitting in the car waiting or something like that this is where i go um, one of the places i start just kind of flipping through looking for it and then you can send it to yourself and be email or if you've got a macbook that you're using you can airdrop it uh, the model to your pc and get it in your slicer and get it ready to print so this is my number three as we move on to number two and number one um, this is a lot of times, this one's just kind of a fun one that I enjoy, um, trying to find models. So hope you guys enjoy it. It is available on Go on any Google Android device or on App Store. Um, matter of fact, I think you can click here and get the QR codes or it's going to take me over to the App Store probably. I don't want to go there, so that's all right. But here we go for the next one. My number two choice is Yegi. Yegi, it's another one of those free sites, but sometimes models on this site can cost money. Um, it just kind of depends on what you're finding, what you're looking for. Um, for example, just looking at this, there's models of motors, Game of Thrones. There's over two, two million models available on this channel, on this one platform. So let's just go with my usual go-to, Star Trek, and look around, see what we can find. <laughs> what is kind of funny. Oh, I typed Star Trek and I get Darth Vader. Hey, okay, Gandalf. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, there are all kinds of different things on this site that you can find. This is another really good search engine. A lot of times you'll find similar stuff on here that you'll also find on Thingiverse. Like that headphone. Ah, that's actually really cool. I might actually consider... Uh, I'm going to actually take that off and hold on to that one because that looks really cool, really detailed. I may hold on to that one. But uh, there's a lot of neat prints on here. Uh, we got Halloween coming up. Search Halloween decorations. You'll find all kinds of stuff that you can just make instead of printing. Num Yegi usually is my number two site to go to. A lot of times I will find things on here that I don't find on Thingiverse and vice versa. But this is my number two go to site to find anything. I mean, come on, there's bracelets. You can make your own skeletons where you could probably pin print these things. These are yeah, awesome things for kids right there. Straw holders. You can print things on pennies for a dime compared to actually going out to somewhere like Hobby Lobby or something like that and buying these. So Yegi is a number two good site, a really good one. I recommend you guys check it out as well as we move on to the next one. And here's my number one choice, Thingiverse. This is one of my favorite sites to find. Most models you'll find on the site are free. 
They have a popular, they have a really good search function on the web browser. They do have an app for your phone, at least for the iPhone, I know they do. Um, I don't enjoy the app as much as I do enjoy searching on here. For example, if you want to find Star Trek stuff, here we go. It's going to load up for you. I mean, there are all kinds of models. You need a cookie cutter. Let's do, let's do cookie cutter. We got all kinds of cookie cutters. There are a lot of models on here that are easily found. This is by far my favorite site to come to. This is where I usually come to first. It's why my number one pick. But I hope you guys can, you know, get out here, find the models that you're wanting to print, and get started on this printing journey. Or if you're on this journey, keep going. Because that's the whole point of this. There are all kinds of models out here. Um, for example, one of my favorite things is Star Wars to print. I've got several of those ships. There are all kinds of models on here that you can print Christmas ornaments, um, Star Destroyers. I mean, come on. But there are other useful things that you can print too. For example, if you need something for your kitchen, if I can spell it right. So just looking at the kitchen stuff, I mean, sponge holders, all kinds of different models that you can print and all these models, 90% of the time, keyword, 90%. Sometimes these models are not free. I mean, there's an awesome under-the-counter Alexa 2.0 holder that you can print. Um, the files out here are usually free. Make sure, though, if you're going to print something, check the license. Um, just make sure that it's something that, you know, you can be creative with and work with or change and make into your own. So MakerBot Thingiverse is a really awesome site to find good models. This is one, I, like I said, this is where I go first to find my models that I print. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, let me know that you're enjoying the content that we're throwing out on the channel. Um, that's a recap of the top five that I go to for my first dibs to find a file um, when I'm looking for something to print. Thank you guys, and see you in the next episode.